Today I wanted to make a quick video regarding how we can use our calculator in order to figure out our different quartile values. So we've got a question here that asks us, it says the heights in centimeters of 10 players on a basketball team are shown. So we have those different heights there from 170 up to 202. Now it asks us, is the height of the shortest player on the team considered an outlier? Justify your answer with calculations. Well, we've written down here that a score is going to be an outlier on the lower end if it's less than Q1 minus 1.5, the interquartile range. So the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so we can figure it out by hand, but let's use our calculator and showcase what we can do here. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is change the setup and the mode for our calculator. So we're going to press the mode button there, press 2 for stats mode. Now, again, we've got a few different options here, so we'll press option 1 for single variable. And now all we need to do is input our different values. Okay, so once our data is all input into the calculator, all we need to do is press the all clear key, and then we'll get rid of that. So the next step is to press shift, and then go down to press number 1, which will engage the stat mode. And now again, a few more options. We're going to go ahead and press option number five, min max. And now it brings up all the different quartile values we could ever ask for. So option one, display the minimum value, or in other words, Q0, sometimes referred to, which here would give us a value of 170. Option two, the max X value would give us Q5, or the maximum value, so here 202. Option three gives us the first quartile, so that's what we're going to be looking for here. So we'll go ahead and press that. So now it will show us Q1, and let's just press equals, and we see that Q1 will give us a value of 185. Okay, so now let's go through and figure out what Q3 was, because that's all that's left for us to be able to figure out if this data set here will have an outlier. So again, shift 1, min max, and now we're looking for Q3. So we'll go ahead and press option 5. And just as a quick note, you can also find your median really quick by just pressing 4 as well. So now at Q3, we get a value of 194. And there we are. So with all that in mind, what we can do now is actually go ahead and determine, will this number 170 be an outlier? And so now working it out, let's test if it is an outlier. So is 170 less than, so Q1 is 185 minus 1.5 or 3 over 2 times by the interquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1, 194 minus 185. So we can just put a 9 in there. Okay, so now we have 170 less than, what's 185? Minus 3 times 9, which is 27, over 2, which would be 13.5. So now 8, 185 minus 13.5, and then 170 less than 100 and oops 71.5 and so we see that since 170 is less than 171.5 we can now say that yes this person is considered an outlier and there we go so now we've used our calculator to determine our different quartiles and use that to effectively answer this question